So two years ago, I was asked to shoot a commercial for a shoe brand. So I did the directing and I had a really good DLP and a really good camera. So the image was really nice and the edit was nice, except for the grading. And I didn't know why, but now two years later, I learned a lot of techniques and I'm gonna apply that to the footage and see if I can make it a little bit better than two years ago. So open DaVinci Resolve, go to the media tab and quick tip, always import your footage for your hair because if you just go to the footage to your finder and then just drag it onto your timeline then the program is not going to read the data from the footage. Go to your folder where you saved your footage and then if you found the folder drag it into the master. So I know this is the clip I want to work on today. Right mouse, create new timeline using selected clips. Color, practice. Double click to open it up. I'm not gonna edit this, so I'm just gonna look for the hero shot. A little tip about the color workspace. If I don't have the data, for example, it's a ProRes file, then most of the time I would just use the color space transform drag it onto the notes and then look here what it is, what's the footage, what's the output going to be, for example, Rex 709. But if I do have the data, I go to this wheel over here, then I go to color management, I choose DaVinci YRGB, then I would go to LUTs and I know it's uh, Sony S-Log3. So I want the Sony s 3 to work 709 LUT and then it already looks pretty great. Then I always work with the scope. So a scope works as following. You can see red, green and blue. These are the highs and these are the lows. I'm pretty lucky that the camera guy uh, knew what he was doing. So I don't have to do a lot to do the white balance. But for example, a lot of the times you can receive the footage and then for example here the reds are too low and the blues are also pretty low. So step one should always be to make sure these three are about the same height and also don't go to zero. Because if you go to zero then you will have grey in your blacks and nobody wants that. The only thing uh, that I'm gonna do is make it a little bit darker in the gain, so the highs don't crush onto the top. So I'm gonna make a new note, Alt S. Okay, let's try a gradient. The longer you make the arrow, the more feather you have. Create another mask and let's track his face. So now I track his face and I'm gonna put in a little bit of mid detail. I should go all the way, it's, it's pretty extreme, but now you can see what happens. So dial it back a little bit. And by the way, to enable OneNote is uh, Command D. But if you wanna disable all notes, it's Alt D. Let's do a mask around the body and spread the feather as much as possible always. Let's lower the mids a little bit and then invert the mask so it goes around. Let's add another note. And by the way, um, big tip is always uh, name your notes. I didn't do it now but you should, otherwise it's gonna get a mess, especially when you have like a really big project. So I think it would be pretty cool to create some kind of light. So I'm gonna go to the pen tool, and let's start here. Here's the feather for the outside. Let's try to give it a little bit more gain in the highs. Yeah, this is it. Maybe a little bit more feather. I think we still have to do something with the light from this window though. Just 
type in glow and then drag glow to the new node. Glow it again a little bit. Let's see. If you go to global blend, you can just put down the opacity a little bit. And also a tip if you go to this bar and just slide it from left to right and then go to full screen. Then you can see a lot better what you are doing. I think I want to add a new node here. Go to hue first saturation. Click on the skin and then here we go. Now it's going to pop out a little bit better. Yeah, that's way better. Add a new node. Type in film grain. Drag it onto the nodes. And then I go to the 35mm 400T. Increase the grain size and also the grain strength. And then grab the tool, use full screen to really see what you are doing. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And then the last effect is going to be halation. Yeah, wow. Didn't do anything, already looks really cool. Go to the secondary glow, increase the strength, and then I always like to do this, make it a little bit more brown instead of white. Yeah, here we go.